So to go along with the video I made the other day called uh, Explaining How Perception is Reality, I mentioned something in there. I said that's one of the highest truths that you can come to realize is your perception really is, truly is reality, no matter no matter what, and no matter what you believe, it is true for you. But what I would like to say and do here is to explain the. I said there was one truth higher than that, and this is this is the truth, and this is that truth, and. I'm going to try to explain this, but again, it is difficult to explain this in words because it's something you need to experience to fully understand. But I am going to try my very best here to explain it into words. So, the only one true thing, I've said this multiple times, you, probably, you guys probably know where I'm going, some of you may know where I'm going. The only true thing is consciousness. That's the only one true thing is consciousness and you are conscious so that consciousness would be considered God now if the only one true thing is consciousness you are conscious you are consciousness so you would be considered God now I don't mean this idea of some man in the clouds that's judging you gonna send you to heaven or hell and this, what I'm saying is much deeper than that and much more, it's just much deeper than that. So here are the questions that I, I feel like I will get is, how do you know this? I'll tell you how I know this because I have went to the dark void multiple times. I have experienced the thing that connects everything together firsthand and and I'll, I'm going to explain this to you once you, you're there you go to this black void it's a dark black void uh, it's nothing it's nothing that's what it is it's nothing time doesn't exist there you don't have a form it's just you so and normally after this happens like I said a bright white light comes through and the world creates itself but what's even more uh, fascinating and deep than this is in this dark void there is remnants of like, I'm trying to explain this uh, if I can. It's like an infinite amount of, let's just use like a spider web for an example. Even though it's not like that, it's not shaped like that, it's not formed like that, it's not that. It's just hard to explain this. And so imagine a spider web. And it's connected throughout the whole, uh, the entire web is a spider web, but there's different layers to it. There's different, I mean, intricate designs all the way down through it. Now, you see this, and then once the world, you come, once the bright white light comes through, and you see the world creating itself, you notice very quickly that things are alive, like plant, uh, I know some people are going to listen to this and say, well, obviously, but plants are alive, um, Trees are alive, not just the trees, the leaves on the trees. Um, rocks, you can tell that rocks are fucking alive. And this is going to sound, it is what it is. Um, but this is what happens. You can experience this, you can know this. And what is even deeper than this is um, the fact that the world is just so different after you experience this or after I don't like using these words I'm just going to tell you what other people I've talked to have explained you know put out in front of me and essentially it's called a total awakening or enlightenment I don't I wouldn't say that um, myself because I, it is what it is but after this happens though it's, it's like the world is completely and totally different it's not the same world it's you fully understand and get how perfect and how beautiful everything is. I mean, this is, if you want this to be heaven, it truly is heaven. And you don't have to look hard to make that happen either because everything has to correlate with each other. Everything has to coalesce for everything to be working perfectly and beautifully. You have a whole new outlook on life. You understand that you're not a cog in a machine, that you're the whole fucking machine. And Please don't think I'm being, um, I'm not being egotistical or saying, oh, I'm God. Because uh, you are, you're me, I'm you. We're the same thing. We are literally the same thing. And once this happens, you start, you quickly realize 
and you get the hints and the metaphors in religious texts. It's, it, it's mind-boggling and mind-blowing to me that more people don't pick up on this. They take religion literally. This is the issue. They either take it literally and believe every word that's in it, truth, like, like that's the truth. Where they are so against it that their um, their ego just gets in the way and they have to be right and they think it's preposterous and ridiculous. And most people that believe that religion is preposterous and ridiculous believes in science. There's no evidence. Let me rephrase this. Science is a wonderful, beautiful thing. I've said this before, but there is no hard evidence to, to back a, the majority of this up. They know a fraction. And the fraction that they know, they know a fraction of that fraction, truthfully. Because, I mean, this is... The only thing going on here, guys, is is consciousness experiencing itself through you. So, you're not a victim. There is no difference between a white person, a black person, a Latina person. There's no fucking difference in skin color. There's no difference in nationality. There's no difference in rich and poor. It's all fucking stupid. It's all a mind game. It's all just petty BS. That's what it is. We're the same thing. Now, even if you don't follow along with me or you don't agree with this or you don't believe this, surely you can agree that if you don't believe anything I'm saying, you will agree to the fact that we're all human beings. So it doesn't matter the skin, uh, where you're born at, what, how much money you have, or any of that. I mean, that's just silly. You can't take this shit with you when you die. You can't, but you, you really don't die. I mean, to even imply that you die implies that you are... I'm going to go much further and deeper into this, right? Um, this is just a video. I want to throw this out there because I, I don't know how this is going to be received. I, I was kind of hesitant to even make this video to lay it out into words because I didn't want... I don't know the reaction. I, I really... I don't honestly care the reaction, but I also want to try to help other people, and I don't want people to... You know, because some people, unfortunately, the way the mind works is you're either right or you're wrong. You judge people, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, but, yeah, essentially, your consciousness it would be considered God. You are experiencing yourself. You are conscious. So, and think of it like this. No, you cannot validate or verify anything. You can't validate or verify anything. Keep this in mind. But you can't verify. And what I mean by that is a lot of the explanations of why we're here, what we're doing here, and how we're here, and all this, right? You can't verify that. It, it's it's theories that you have to have faith in. And um, the one thing I'm telling you is you can verify this. What I'm telling you, you don't have to have a belief in. It would probably benefit you to believe me. It really would, because it would make your life a whole lot better if you believed what I'm telling you. But I don't want you to believe what I'm telling you. I don't want you to have blind faith in it. I want you to go out and try to experience this yourself. Now, I don't really know if everyone can experience this. I'm sure they can, because there's nothing special about me. But once you experience this, you'll, you will you will say, oh, oh shit, that's, that's what's going on here. And you'll look at the world a whole lot different. And... Not only that, but once this happens, you will start realizing the hints and the metaphors that are in all these religious texts. It's it's simply incredible um, the the amount of hints that's out there that that points you to that fact. It points you to the fact you are God. And again, I don't mean God as in because this is my theory on this. Is back in the day when God originated, they did not have really a word for consciousness. Um, so they use God instead of consciousness. So uh, you got to think. There's a whole lot of a whole lot of cultures that tell you that this is an illusion. There's a whole lot of cultures that will. There's a whole lot of religious texts that point you in this direction. Uh, again, there's three religions. I would highly recommend you 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 take the time and effort to study and at least look into it a little bit. Hinduism, Buddhism, and Christianity. And I'm going to tell you why. This is my theory. And um, could I be wrong? Maybe. But am I? No, I'm not. The whole purpose and goal of this is to live life, experience life, right? Like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Don't make it such a serious thing because it's not. I mean, nothing about this is serious. Um, 
but this is my thing. This is what I believe, and I could be wrong, but again, I don't believe I am. I, I'm, I know I'm right, so here we go. There's three things that you should try to accomplish while you're here. One, become enlightened like the Buddha. Two, follow these steps of Christ, because that is going to benefit you more than anything greatly. Even if you don't follow this, even if you can't become enlightened or don't want to or, what, or whatever, like the Buddha, it would... I would highly suggest and recommend you try to follow the path of Jesus Christ because um, there's a whole lot of powerful um, there's a whole lot of powerful things in the Bible that can teach you how to be a better person and how to live a great life and a better life and just think about this all these people in the, in the Bible they they wrote down accounts of how to be a better person uh, through I mean hundreds maybe even a thousand years or more. And they put it, they compiled it all together into one book. It's like the, I know I've said this before, but it's like the World Wide Web before there was a World Wide Web. I mean, it is, it's amazing to me. And um, study Hinduism because you're going to see what's, what's going on. I mean, you're, I'm not saying you're going to keep coming back to earth because I don't know. I don't know that. What I, this is what I believe that happens when you die or die your body is dead. You're not dead, right? Like the thing, you're, a lot of people think that your consciousness and you being conscious um, lays within the brain. People think that your thoughts that you hear in your head, the thing that tells you whether, you know, you probably should do something or shouldn't do something, they think that it's in, within the brain. And the mind is not within the brain. The mind is within consciousness because consciousness is the mind. I don't know. So you're you're still going to have consciousness because you are consciousness. Where are you going to go? Where do you have to go? That's what I'm trying to get at here. You're not going to die. So calm down. It's okay. I promise. So what I feel that happens is you either come keep coming back down here to earth, reincarnation, or you go to another world. Whatever the fuck's out there, right? Like we don't know. Um, but I have experienced all these things I'm telling you. I'm not holding this on blind belief or faith except for that last one about what happens when you die. Because I don't know. I feel like I have died several times. And I went to the Black Void. Um, and I came back with a fuck ton of knowledge. And it is what it is. But, you know, hopefully this helps some of you guys out. I really hope it does. And I want to I wanna come back on here and make a video in a lot more detail. And I want to point out... Um, I want to go through these scriptures and texts and point out things that they say uh, that points you to this fact that you are consciousness you are God you are you are everything you're everything do you understand that it's amazing it's amazing to realize this it's it, it's fucking incredible it's one of the most mind-blowing things you'll ever experience in life if you can't experience it and I hope some of you guys can experience this I've been trying to lay hints about this for almost a year now i've been dropping hints here and there and i don't care anymore like I, i'm just going to tell you right like like i said at the beginning i was kind of hesitant to do this because people judge people and i don't want someone to think well i shouldn't take life advice from this guy or i shouldn't go see him as a psychologist because he's he thinks this or because i feel my advice is pretty sound i feel it can benefit anyone and everyone that'll actually pay close attention and listen to and try to incorporate it in their lives it's pretty practical um this is pretty much the only thing that i say that is not practical but is the truth and like i said you should not bend reality to fit your narrative the one thing you should practice and do is is speak words that you know are truthful and that's exactly what i'm doing here I'll talk to you guys later and once again there is nothing but a dark black void that boy that void is nothing it's nothing but it contains everything. And within that is consciousness. The whole the whole thing is consciousness. And you are conscious. So have a great day.